Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to create the grunge effect that's used in the Americana, Starburst, and Shield grunge templates. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to double click on the Americana Starburst Shield PSD file that was sent to you via email. And when you double click on it, it should automatically launch in Photoshop. It is a PSD file. It is rather large, so give it a minute. If you receive this error here, it means that you do not ha have some of the fonts that need to be installed in order to edit some of the text. You may want to go back and install um, these fonts later on, but for right now, we're going to click OK and continue with the tutorial. When you open up the file, uh, you should have your layers palette open. If you don't already, um, it's very simple. You just have to go up to View. Um, I'm sorry, you have to go up to Window and select Layers. And this will open the Layers palette and allow you to see um, how everything is set up. Now, you'll notice also there are three different um, backgrounds. The first being the large logo for the Starburst design. If I hide that and show the shield, you'll see the shield for the Americana design. And if I hide that and, and show you the Americana, you will see the flag for the uh, original Americana design, which was one of the first designs I created. Also, if you expand that, I've also added an alternate flag for the Americana design. Uh, one of them has white stripes and one of them doesn't. I've gotten a lot of positive and negative feedback on the white stripes, so I just decided to include it in the template uh, at no additional charge. So we're going to hide Americana, though, just to work on this. We're going to use the Starburst, which is the large logo. Um, if you are creating the Starburst design, I strongly recommend when you put the large logo into the file that you do it as a smart object, which means uh, you copy it from a vector file. Only because what this will allow you to do is if you ever have to expand or you want to change the size of the uh, large logo that's behind the player, the smart object will not um, enlarge past the boundaries of a, of a pixel. It's kind of hard to explain, but it refers back to the vector file. So you can enlarge this or make it as small as you want, and you won't lose any type of quality. But that's another tutorial. If you notice, uh, on the name already, there is the grunge effect, and uh, we're going to create this. The reason we have to create this is because I cannot legally distribute the plugin that was... Uh, used to create it. It was originally created with something called Machine Wash, which um, is a Photoshop plugin. It runs roughly $100. It's a great plugin if you decide to purchase it, but since I can't distribute it, I had to figure out a way in order to make this uh, effect. So that's what I did. And that's what this tutorial is about. So we're going to delete the effect. Uh, simply by dragging it to the trash bin in the bottom of the layers palette and you'll see it left us with clean text here. So with the big name layer selected you're going to expand it and with the big name layer itself you're going to hold down the command button it's the control button on a PC command control on a, on a command and the control button on a Mac you will hold it down, click on the T, and that should highlight the text and make it a selection. You'll see the dancing ants uh, around the text if you did it properly. Now if you notice, the selection doesn't go all the way to the edge to where the stroke is. That's because um, selections don't see strokes for whatever reason. I mean, I'm working in the latest version of Photoshop and it still doesn't do it. So in order to make your selection go to the edge of the stroke you need to come up to select you need to go to modify 
you need to go to expand and you need to type in a number that will bring you to the edge of the text. Now I know from previously using this template it's roughly between 25 and 27 depending on what your preference is. Um, you don't really notice it. It doesn't really go all the way to the edge when you select 25 and 27 brings you fairly close. We could probably go one more pixel to 28. So let's see what that looks like. And 28 will probably bring us to the very edge of the text, which it looks like it did. Okay, so now that you have your selection all the way to the edge of the text, uh, leaving the selection active, you want to come back to the layers palette and you want to select the wash effect for background. You can click on the layer. You have to expand the layer, uh, which you do by clicking on the little arrow here. And the wash effect for background is the grunge effect. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to select layer and new layer via copy, which can also be achieved by selecting Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC. And this should give you a new layer that you will see there have been no changes yet um, within the wash effect for layer background. So we're going to double click on the layer's name and we're going to call it wash effect for large for big name since that's what the layer is called and you hit enter that'll rename the layer for you now what you'll want to do is click on this layer and drag it into the big name layer that's already expanded above the big name text and you will see your grunge effect on your text layer now. Now, um, you will also notice a color overlay. And you can change the color of the grunge to match anything within your image. So, right now I have it selected to uh, complement the tan that's involved in the uh, template and you can change that. You can change it to whatever you want and you will see it change whenever you click on a color. Um, some colors work better than others. I've noticed that black doesn't work very well. White works nicely but it blends in with the stroke. Um, I like to stick to the complements, uh, the complementary colors of the template which is uh, a tannish uh, type color. So I'm going to hit cancel to go back to my original uh, color that I had selected. Now all you have to do is repeat these steps um, for the rest of the template which is the small logo here sorry let me move my layers here so we can see it which is the smaller uh, text for the name the school and the um, or team and the players position and the, the small logo as well Everything else um, is pretty much drag and drop. So as long as you keep the layers in order, you're going to find that there is very little to adjust in the template. Uh, that's because of this wash effect for background. If I take that off, or if I, if I hide that layer, you have the clean version, <laughs> which... Uh, was also included at no additional charge and actually uh, you will also need to hide the wash effect for the border and the stroke and that will give you the full clean version um, of the, the this is the original design before uh, the grunge effect was added through the Photoshop plugin so I hope that helps uh, with regard to creating the grunge text. Unfortunately, I have not been able to get an action to do this. Uh, I don't know why Photoshop doesn't want to do it. I've created everything step by step exactly the way I've just explained it in this tutorial in an action. But for some reason, it just does not want to work. So um, 
You have to do it step by step like this. Once you do it once or twice, it takes a minute, not even, probably less. And um, it works for all three designs. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, I believe I've also provided my phone number. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. That's about it. Thank you very much, and uh, happy designing.